Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm holding in my hand the completed control board for a powerful 5 kilowatts switching power supply. This circuit includes a soft start function to limit in rush current during power up, along with overload protection to ensure safe operation. I've connected the control circuit to the GDT transformer. At the output, I've hooked up an oscilloscope so we can clearly observe the waveform in real time. To simulate real working conditions, I've also added a 1NF capacitor to the output of the GDT. This represents the parasitic gate capacitance typically found on a MOSFET. Even after connecting the 1NF capacitor, which simulates the gate capacitance, the output waveform stays almost the same. This shows the circuit is driving the load very effectively. This is the power stage, including the transformer and the MOSFET, but without the control circuit yet. Now, I'm going to connect it to the control board. This is the control circuit, along with the GDT transformer. With the main input voltage at 220 volts, I'm going to power up the control circuit and we'll see the result. The halogen bulb lights up gradually, which shows that the soft start function is working properly. This gradual increase in brightness helps reduce in rush current at startup, protecting both the components and the load. I've just tested the overload and overcurrent protection function. When an overload occurs, the indicator LED on the control board lights up and the output voltage is immediately cut off. It will only start working again once the component causing the overload is disconnected. Right after this short introduction of my sponsor, JLCPCB, I'll walk you through the working principle of the circuit and show you exactly how to build it yourself. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting-edge, in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high precision assembly all in one place. Get one to eight layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in-house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB six layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality six layer PCBS for just $5. Plus, to you enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. This is the schematic of the circuit. It uses the SG35 to 5 IC operating at a frequency of 60 kHz. There are two transistors, one PNP and one NPN, connected to form an SCR-like latch. When an overload signal is detected, this latch activates and immediately disables the SG35 to 5's oscillation, cutting off the output signal to protect the circuit. And here, the finished board and enclosure, just one week after I uploaded the Gerber files to the JLCPCB website. The build quality is excellent, the silk screen is sharp, the solder mask is clean, and all the drill holes are perfectly aligned. I'm really happy with the result. I'm sharing all the files for free in the video description. You can download them and upload directly to JLCPCB to get your own board made easily. I'm using an oscilloscope to check the two outputs of the circuit. The operating frequency is 60 kHz and the soft start function is performing very well.
Now I'm going to demonstrate the overload protection function by applying a signal directly to the OC pin of the circuit. This simulates an overcurrent condition and should immediately trigger the protection mechanism. This is the GDT transformer I introduced to you in a previous video. You can find the link to that video above. This is the actual operation of the circuit. I've connected a 35 watt halogen bulb as the output load along with an oscilloscope probe directly at the gate pin of the MOSFET so you can clearly see how the signal behaves. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this project useful and learned something new. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribe to the channel for more electronics content. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. I always enjoy hearing from you. See you in the next video. And once again, big thanks to JLCPCB for supporting this project.